talked recently about a bunch of different camos that are in the game files for Black Ops 3 that were added, that were updated at points, and of course, some even have menu information. So, with these camos, some of which being on the cusp of just being delivered to Black Ops 3, whether that be in a supply drop format or as a community contract format, it's something that these camos are very close to being releasable. But when would they be released? What could that mean? And what I want to talk about specifically in this one is a way that it could end up rolling out some of these camos for the next couple of weeks into the lifespan of Black Ops 3. Right now, we're at a little bit of a weird point within Black Ops 3 because it's not, of course, the main title, but it still has having a lot of different support for people that are playing it because the player base is still a great number of players daily for Black Ops 3, both on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, compared to what a lot of people would really imagine a secondary title to be when a primary is still in its prime. But like I said, Black Ops 3 is in a weird spot because right now it's kind of in that marketing phase of not being able to release all that much DLC. We just had brand new weapons, a part of the July Contraband, and previously we ended up having DLC 5 or Zombies Chronicles released. But as for any other releases, it's somewhat getting towards that point of improbable and impractical in a sense. Activision loves to do releases in the rule of two, meaning that there is at least two weeks in between each announcement and reveal and release that happens for every Call of Duty game. Now, with that said, we're past the reveal at this point for Call of Duty World War II Zombies, and when you think about all the things on the horizon for Call of Duty, it's rather incredible to see how much there is in such a short period of time. Such things being the World War II Beta, Infinite Warfare DLC 4, what may or may not still be the rumored DLC for Modern Warfare Master, depending on when this video goes live, because as of making this, it's still a rumor at this point. There's a lot of things that really require a lot of different spread time out there. So, when you take a look at it, there's not all that much for Black Ops 3 to be able to do before November and the release of World War II. But this is where these camos can come in handy because they don't necessarily need to have their own marketing for a camo release. This is something you can pop into community contracts very easily or maybe even in some cases some supply drop camos, though I'd much rather personally prefer community contracts, but that would be something that honestly would tide over a lot of players within the Black Ops 3 community and work out in favor to not take away from anything on the marketing end as of this. So, personally, I think that theoretically we could get, and I don't think we will get all of them, but theoretically we could end up getting 10 different community contract camos for Black Ops 3. The questions of when and how soon certainly are valid questions, but those really don't have any answers at this point in time. What's also interesting is the fact that this, once again, could go up to 10 different camos. And if you want to take a look at it, how many weeks until World War II's launch as of making this is 15 weeks at the moment. So as of this going live, I'm not entirely sure when that will be because I'm prepping 30 plus videos for a two and a half week trip that I'm currently on when you guys end up seeing this, but it could end up being 14 weeks, 13 weeks until the launch of World War II, and thus, that could be something where we have very regular contracts coming to Black Ops 3 multiplayer and kind of is a last hurrah for Black Ops 3 and the multiplayer there within because once again, once World War 2 drops, the support will either drop off significantly or drop off completely for Black Ops 3. So that said, why not give players a major thing to look forward to in terms of working together, grinding it out for one final time, one last ride if you want to put it that way, and have all these different camos available via community contracts. Tracks. Now, once again, whether or not we end up getting these all, I guess time will tell, and it's something that probably all 10 or whatever there is left probably won't end up coming in their entirety, but it is something that's possible that we could get a handful of these at least. And personally, I'm really hopeful that we do get multiple community contracts for Black Ops 3 because the camos that we've showcased in the past previously, some of them look so cool, and I'd hate to think about them going to waste, them not being released at all, but having been put in the game code for whatever reason, and having had work done on them, I'd hate to see that go and not be released at all. So hopefully, some of these at least get released but as for the rest, I guess we'll see with time. But I'm hopeful that we end up getting multiple community contracts here moving forward in the next couple of weeks before the launch of World War II this November. And as a result, I'd love to see these things come to Black Ops 3 in their entirety. That said, love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think here of this? Do you think we'll get multiple community contracts as per se one last hurrah in Black Ops 3, one last ride to gather everybody, put all their strengths and time into grinding out Black Ops 3 for one 
final time? Or do you think that maybe we'll get like one or two, but nothing really more here for community contracts, if even that at all? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But that's where we're gonna wrap it up. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Black Ops 3, both multiplayer and Zombies with Zombies Chronicles, Modern Warfare Master, Call of Duty World War II, both multiplayer and Zombies there as well, and Infinite Warfare if that does so suit you also. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, wherever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hopefully you guys had a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.